y'all, it's Abby, and today I have a bunch of blind boxes from Kika Goods. I'm really excited to open these. Some of these Kika Goods sent to me to unbox in a video, and some of these I purchased to unbox in a video. As you can see, we have some repeats here. I'm really excited about this series and the Umasol series, which apparently has been around for a while, but it's new to me. And then the Ru Rui, Rui, Rui from Simon Toys, and of course our favorite. So we're going to be checking these out, and I'm really excited because you know we usually open a variety, and we are going to, but we're also going to get you know multiples, not doubles. I'm calling it here. We're not going to get doubles today, but we do have a bunch to open, so let's dive right in. Are we ready? Look at all these blind boxes. I am genuinely so excited. I know we opened a bunch of magical blind boxes, but I feel like I've never done an opening on this scale with these kind of blind boxes. I don't know. Anyway, it's definitely my first time doing a big opening with Kika Goods blind boxes. So where do we start? Do we mix it up or do we open like the same ones together? I think part of me wants to start at the top and work our way down. First one is Clark the Hamster and there are different sets of these. I believe there's one with instruments and this is the food one. I believe I have one of the instrument ones. You guys know my memory. It's awful. There's a mystery one too. I, it just looks like a hamster blob. They're all adorable but I especially love the boba one. Actually, you know what? Any of them would be cute. I'm not a huge seafood person. I don't know. Am I jinxing it by saying that? I guess we'll find out. Well, it's definitely a hamster. Oh my goodness, it's the boba one. Oh my goodness, there, it's a shaker. <laughs> What? The boba doesn't move though, that's funny. Is it inside the hamster? Is that boba rattling around inside? How cute! And I forgot that the hamster is flocked. Super fuzzy, look at his little tail. The ears, oh my goodness, I love it. Space drawers. Is that the company that makes it? The art's really cute too. Look at him! I got the one that I wanted! Okay, I think this is gonna be a lucky day. Let's put you up here for now. Oh, he doesn't, he sits kinda there, like that maybe. Just set you between. Can you guys see him? Let's grab from the other side. I really like this one. It reminds me of Yuki from Pop Mart because it's a shaker charm, but it's a cow. It's called Milk Tea, and I believe it's a foam stand. Isn't that cute? All of the designs look really cute. There's two secret ones. I like the watermelon one. I mean, you know, if we're going after Lucky today. I think I like the watermelon and then the little milk drippy one. I think it's the one that's on the cover. It's the strawberry milk, maybe? Let's do it. Oh, this is by Choco Teddy, or this series is called Choco Teddy. Choco Teddy Brand Management. I'll have to look them up. I wonder what other toys they make. in a foil bag. Is there, oh, here's the tear tab. Are we ready? Oh, I see green. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, this is the watermelon one. Look at the little puff balls in it. First impression, it is not a shaker shaker charm because they're little puffs, but look at how cute this is. I'm a little embarrassed to show my phone because it's kind of dirty. I'll show you the backside. But look at you can put it on here and it'll stand up like that. Don't look at my screen protector. It's coming off. I need to get a new one. Here's an up close look. I love the long skinny arms and legs. The plastic isn't maybe as pigmented as I thought it would be. Like judging from what I see on the box, it almost looks a tad bit faded maybe, but you can tell that it's a watermelon. I think the design's really cute. I love the little face too. But also, second one in a row. Are we feeling lucky today? Let's put you up here and go for the me towel. You've all probably seen these cute kitties. I see them all the time on Instagram. I think it's called me towel cat and it's by Dodo, Dodo Wo. And they're the company that makes the vegetable and fruit animals. 
Anyway, you guys may remember I opened a full case of Mi Chao Cats a long time ago. That was actually the first video I filmed for Kika Goods, and look at us now. I am a little sad I only have one of these because we're only gonna get one, so it won't be a pair, but I really hope we get... I don't know, I think these are little dino costumes. And then, these look like helmets. This looks like royalty. These are like the dragons, right? And then there are two secret ones, so I guess we'll find out. I really like this box though, because look, the text is hollow. And the fireworks are too. It's very pretty. Ooh, this one has a pull tab. Oh, look at the top! How cute! Let's do this. I always get a little bit right there. do do -wo. Oh, I see white! There's a little barcode on her butt. Oh, I'm gonna get up close here. Look at this! The dragon fluff, the fluffy parts are flocked. It's a little hood. Oh my goodness, this is adorable! Okay, this is one I definitely would consider getting a full case because I feel like they need to be together, right? What do you guys think? Also, remind me what their names are. So this is the third series. I think the one I opened before was the second series. I'll have to link it down below, but look at here are the barcodes for their social medias, I guess. Look at that little castle, how cute. Love it. Oh my goodness, I just noticed a little pause. The amount of detail on like simple figures always amazes me. Okay, you go here. We're gonna have to move all these in a second, but it's fine. Let's go for the Shiba next. This one is kind of an extra from Kika Goods. They sent me this last time too, and it had been opened, and I wasn't sure what was happening. It was actually because Customs had opened it, because sometimes, I guess they don't like magnets. Last time, I got this guy, little chubby Shiba, and obviously it was a magnet, so if you saw my previous Kika Goods video, I think it was the last one. I would have to check, but that's why the box came opened. But this time it has not been. So, let's check it out. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's look at the lineup. I think we got this one last time. There are two secret ones. So, let's check it out. It's such a cute design. Oh! Oh! Okay, okay, let's look. There's a little logo on the inside. I guess he's kind of stuck. I guess they're all similar-ish poses. But here he is with his legs up. It's like he's trying to get unstuck, maybe? Let's see if we can put this me towel card in between. <laughs> it's also cute because from the front you see his head. And then if you turn around, it's his butt. Look at all the little fluffy butts. Very cute. Also, I want to mention these are super light, so I think they'll be good for holding papers and stuff up. The magnet's pretty strong, I would say. So you can go up here. Oh, that might not work. Will they stick anywhere? Oh, it looks like he's poking his head up. It's time to open an Emma blind box. Now this set is so cute. So I love the gothic style, of course, but the pastel ones are so adorable too. I have a few Emmas. I have some pretty cute ones and maybe I should go find them to show you guys. But look at, it's just like sweet Lolita style almost. And it looks like there's a kitty in there too and a secret one. So pretty sure I haven't opened this set before. I do have an Emma with like a bonnet or like head piece, head dress. I forget what they call them, but. I don't think it's from this set. So, I think I like everything in here. Let's open it up. Nope. I'm always kind of bad at opening these. There we go. I think it's, oh yeah, I could have just torn it there. Whoops. Also, the box is a little bit battered, but the figure inside is gonna be fine. Oh, I think I see black. Oh my goodness, she's stunning. 
Not gonna lie, after hyping it up, I would not have minded getting a pastel one, but this one is definitely my vibe too. So her whole outfit and her hat, her bonnet, I guess, it's gonna be hard to keep these black parts dust free. Her little flower crown, or whatever you wanna call it, headband, has metallic gold on the black or gray, whatever you wanna call it. She is stunning, I love her paws too. So pretty. The Emma figures are so good, all of them. The designs are so detailed and intricate. If any of you have Emmas from this set, I'd love to see them. Join my Discord and post a picture in our toys channel. Look at that, she is so pretty. Oh, and her name's Black Velvet. Well, not her name, you know what I mean. I'm so excited about today's video. Let's put her up here. I will post a picture of my Emmas in my Discord server, I promise. Let's open Space Ghost Bunny. You all know I'm obsessed with Shinwu, or Shin, Shinu, and this is, well now it's not their newest set anymore because the birthday alone sets out, which I have unboxed if you guys wanna see. Um, but this is one of the newer sets and I've opened a few of these. My dreamy is probably Rainbow Poor. I have two heart bunnies, half heart bunnies. And I think that's it from this series that I have because I got a double of that one. I like the little moon, rainbow pour, paint with tears. I mean the blues and purples. That one's cute too, but I would like a ghost bunny. Let's do this. I always have a hard time with this sticker right here. But at least we know it's authentic and has not been opened. Oh, there goes the weight. Bunny moon system. Oh, I've never looked at the bottom here. It's the phases of the bunny moon. That's really cool. And then the whole solar system. Oh. Oh, I see kind of like a bluish. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. It's moon eraser. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting this. Also, don't zoom in on the reflection. <laughs> the bunny's holding a little eraser and it's like a metallic. It's like, like a color you'd see on a car, I feel like. It's like a pearlescent metallic, like dark purple plum grape, I don't know. Very nice, oh my goodness, I love it. The little helmet's cute too. I'm gonna put it up here, where hopefully you can't see the reflection of my face and my messy hair. The Lonely Moon, Moon Eraser. And the card is like a little Game Boy or like game console, handheld console. Look at that, the little cartridge. Oh, that's such a fun design. I might need more Lonely Moon figures. That's a really nice one. That was very unexpected. Today's opening is going really well. Let's open the Zotong. Blessing for fruits. This is such a cute set. I've opened a few of these. I have the peach one and best wishes. That might be it. Again, I'll have to check. But let's open her up. I think I really would like success or carefree. I think they're really cute or healthy. A little lemon. I don't know what the correct way to smoothly open these. <laughs> Do I need to maybe cut it first? Oh, it's a strawberry. What a cutie. Oh my goodness, wait, this is so good. Here she is. I don't even know how to like explain or describe it, but it's not super opaque, but it's not translucent either. It's kind of like a jelly. Does that make sense? But obviously her dress is white and then it kind of has a gradient. It's not see-through, but it's a little translucent-y. That's a new word I just made up. I love Zotong. So cute. I was so scared we were gonna get another animal friend. I didn't even want to say it to jinx it. Also, this stand is a little different than her usual. Like the clear apple shaped ones. This one's really nice. I like it. Here you go. Oh my goodness, this lineup is so good. Okay, next one. 
Next we have a Kimmy and Mickey, or Mickey, however you want to say it, by 52 Toys. And I chose this one because I couldn't resist the pastel colors. Also, I've been really curious about the Kimmy and Mickey sets. Apparently, Kimmy and Mickey are the same person. Like, Mickey is like her not inner persona. Um, also, I think that's canon. I know I read it somewhere. I'm pretty sure. When I read that, I just thought that was really cute and I really liked the background and the lore, I guess. But look at it! It's all pastel and purple and gradient and pretty. It's so me. Obviously, this is another one that would be so nice as a full set or even just a pair. But today we're only gonna get one. Um, I just... Are we testing our luck today? There's one that I see that I'm kind of like, mm about but uh, I don't want to say it and jinx it. Maybe you guys can guess. But otherwise I think they're all adorable. I'm excited to see the colors on the figure. Let's just open it up. When I was in Singapore I saw a bunch of these so I'm gonna guess that they're pretty popular. Not like these these but just like the Kimmy and Mickey. <laughs> I can't even decide how to say it. Is it Mickey or Mickey? The Japanese side of me wants to say Mickey. But like the American side of me wants to say Mickey. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. This is Kimmy and this is Magician Girl. How cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, I am a fan. This is my first Kimmy and Mickey, like I said. Oh, I love the design. It slightly, just very slightly, reminds me of like the Momiji dolls, I think they were called. Here's a little heart. I don't know if that's a weight or what. Jung. Here's the card. The art is so cute. Okay, you're all gonna be seeing more Kimmy and Miki in the future, for sure. How cute! Okay, we're gonna have to move these in a second. I don't know if Kimmy will even stand up. Maybe that heart was her stand. There we go. So there's the top row. Very, very pleased with what we got. Um, I feel like Sank the Child is like a little different from my usual aesthetic, but it's a design or figure that I fell in love with bleh, around when I started hardcore collecting Pop Mart and um, art figures like this. So this was the only blind box version I could find. I know that the artist sells like limited runs of like bigger figures, I believe, or well, not blind box figures. I don't exactly know the size, but they're quite pricey and not really in my budget. So I was really excited to find these blind boxes and I'm sorry for rambling. This is Sank the Child and this is like a travel series, I think. On the Way is what it's called. Here's the lineup. I don't know if you guys are gonna like this or not, but there's just something about this design that I was super drawn to. I I really, really like it. So, Kika Good sent me one because I wanted to check them out and then I went ahead and ordered more for myself. Here it is. I'm so excited. First one. Oh, here are the little parts, stand and a sign that says store. Oh, it's the orange one. Oh my goodness. I love it. Focus, please, camera, hello. They're holding a little Sheba. And then this is like their trademark helmet. They went shopping. I believe they're stepping on a banana and they're wearing slippers and the helmet there's like a gradient I don't know is the camera even picking up all of this oh my goodness I love there's a hole tell me this is not where the sign goes right is there more in here oh wait they're little feather right haha -ha, found it love it and then the sign must go on the stand too? How good is that? So the figure goes on the stand. They're stepping on the banana peel and there's a sign behind it. I just love how complete this looks. So good. I am in love. 
I do not even care that it's orange, which is not my favorite color. This design is just too good. We're gonna have to start shuffling some stuff around, but we'll put the first one there. The quality is amazing. I think we'll just keep opening the same ones because I wanna see them all like together, so. There is a double chance, which I think means like the secret one. Hmm. I could feel the helmet. I don't know if that means anything. Oh, it's a different color. Oh, oh. It's like a boom box. Okay. The stand and feather. Oh my goodness, look at the little vases. This is so cool. It's metallic-y, pearlescent, I don't know. The colors, so good. Oh my goodness, I am in love. It says sink. Okay, let me get the stand. I think the stand's supposed to be like a manhole cover, maybe? Here it is, oh my goodness. I love how it's like in motion. Same for the other one too, but. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. I don't even care. Like looking at the lineup, this probably would not have been one of my first choices, but I just love it so much. Okay, you stand here. Sorry, me tall cat, you're moving. Third one. There are, wait, three secret ones? I love how it's kind of like a mix of like grunge. I don't even know if I'd call it that. But then it has like the cutesy little faces and stuff to it. I want the shopping cart one, the guitar one's cute, and I want the pinky pastel -y one. Two more to open, let's see. We've been lucky so far today. I feel like the odds are in my favor. I hope they are. I'm nervous. <laughs> Cross your fingers. Oh, the feather's a different color. It's pastel. Blue stand. Oh. Oh my goodness. It's the guitar one. I think giddy is the word to describe my current emotions. How cute. I am a connoisseur of cute, but this is like new cute to me and I'm loving it. The color combo, it's so refreshing. It's like minty cool and fresh. There's a face on the guitar. Look at that, like how cute is that? Here it is on the back. Just the gradient on the feather, the helmet. Look how good that is. I am so in love. And I don't know if any of that was in focus, but here we go. Look at them! One more. Sorry, Emma, you're gonna have to move. Last one. Shopping cart or pink pastel? <laughs> I think I asked you guys, was it, was it on the community page, what you thought of like ASMR videos or unboxings and a lot of you said you didn't like the tapping. Cause it felt forced, I guess. Should I include a lot of excess tapping now? Oh, this one's, I'm gonna say it's definitely different because it feels heavier, but honestly, I don't know. Watch it be a double. lucky ask and you shall receive how adorable I think that's a camera so cute oh my goodness the feather the fire hydrant the pink stand okay let me put it together I'm getting very very excited oh my goodness I can't I can't I can't look how cool that is I love that even though it's like a solo figure, it comes with like a little prop 
and it just it's not just a figure you know oh my goodness i probably will end up with more of these i'm probably gonna have doubles but i love them chill abby we still have six more to open look how cute they look together okay sorry you're going on the outside you're very cool but oh these three I think that it's because this one's more like a metallic pearlescent, but oh my goodness, I love them. Let's save the Uma Souls because I'm actually, those were, I was even more excited about those in the Sank figures, but oh my goodness, I don't know. We're moving Zotong for Lu, Lu Yi, Ru Yi. I thought the designs were really cute. Simon Toys, and they're all little pastel-y. I forget what the theme was on these. I'd have to look at the Kika Goods website, which by the way, if you guys use my link down below, I have a coupon and you can get a nice discount when you buy figures from them. I really like buying from Kika Goods because they have a low threshold for free shipping. Is that the right word? I don't know, but um, like you can just buy like two or three blind boxes and usually get free shipping. So that's why I like buying from them because a lot of sites it's a hundred dollars usually. So anyway, I'm going to say this was like a, f f f f I don't know. They all have like animal ears. I don't know if it was like a fairy vibe or what. I'll take a peek at the website, but aren't they all adorable? I've never opened this series before, so I'm excited. I'm hoping that they'll be very nice quality. Simon Toys. Can any of you list other IP from Simon Toys? I'm trying to think. I feel like I should know others. Oh, here's a pink stand. And, oh my goodness, purple. Purple cat girl. She's adorable. Look at her little buns or pigtails, whatever you want to call them. She has little cat paws, a little tail. Oh, she's cute. And the fact that she's purple. I love her. Let's look at the card. I can kind of read the kanji. It's like dark knight cat yo, which is, could either be like fairy or like yokai. So I don't know. But she's adorable. She has some like shading on her toes and like her, like a blush, like her cheeks and nose. Very, very cute. She feels tiny, but she's about the same size. She's just a little more dainty, I guess. Okay, Kimmy, look at they're 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 friends. All right, next one. I'm not even gonna say anything. You guys know what colors I like and what I don't. And there's four secret ones, so let's keep going. Oh, that just popped open. I like the one on the front too. Hmm. I can't even tell if she feels different. Oh, another pink, but it's definitely different. Stands could all be the same. Oh my goodness. What? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, she's not a secret. I got excited for a second. She's that one. It says Hutago Rabbit, I think. Twin Rabbit? I don't know. Here's her card. She's adorable. Look at, she has like ears coming out of her backpack or is that like a hood i'm not sure she has a little cloud backpack anyway so cute she has some constellations like her tights and her top her shoes are kind of like a pearlescent pastel this series is so cute i honestly do not know how many hours i've spent just browsing on kika goods because there's so many cute things and they keep getting new things in i feel like every time i go there's something new to look at and add to cart i love her Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. Oh my goodness, I'm definitely gonna end up with more of these too. I just feel like I need a whole repeat of this row, but not repeats, you know what I mean? Last one for today from this set. We got her and her. Oh, is this the one that's on the box? Yeah, I think she is. She's like a, I don't know. I get mermaid vibes from her, but I don't know. There's also a fox girl. I love foxes. I couldn't see the card. Did you guys see it? Um, are, 
Are... Is this happening? Um, wait, also, where's her stand? Hello? Yes, she's orange, but she is the most adorable fox girl I have ever seen. Look at that bow! Like, I'm not trying to compare anyone's art or design, and I love Laura very, very much, but I feel like this is like a Laura without the quote-unquote creepy eyes, as some of you say. She's like the cutesy version, but I just would like to clarify that I love Laura, but I get like the same-ish vibes from the designs, kind of. Look at the little fox mask, hair barrettes, pieces. And then the sakuras on her sleeves. The detail on this is really, really amazing. Like the gradients, the colors, like there's orange, red, and then there's this turquoise teal, just pulls it all together. Love it. We're having so much fun today. Well, I am, I don't know you guys, but I'm enjoying myself. Time to open the umasau. This was another random design that I found while I was browsing on Kika Goods. Look at how many there are. And they're two secret ones. But um, again, the design was right up my alley. And I'd like to think that I would be happy with any of them. They're pretty pastels, gradients, and color combinations that I like. So let's dive in. Hey Dolls CQ Toys. Lit litters? Litors works? I'm assuming that's the company. Umaso is a Japanese word that means looks tasty, but I don't know if this is a Japanese artist or if it even comes from the Japanese word umaso. But that's what that word means to me. It's heavy! First one. Oh my goodness, I love it already. Abby Colors. It's glittery! purple gradient and then there's like a little person inside it's a sad dino and then there's a bucket and a little chibi on top isn't this design so good so this one is that one. Ooh, and the white it's like a pink to white gradient it fades there's glitter in that too Jung! isn't the art pretty i can't read the chinese characters Okay, that's the first one. Oh, so cute! This one that's on the cover is very pretty too. Well, I got a purple one first thing, so I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not even gonna say. Let's just do it. Okay, I think I figured it out. When I push the tab in and pull it, I don't rip all three layers. I just pull the top one off. I think I'm getting the hang of it. So please stop bullying me about the way I open my boxes. Oh, I'm seeing some yellow. Jung! Oh, it's like a chocolatey vibe. I'm assuming they're all glittery like this. It's almost like a glittery top coat or glaze. So I'm getting like a graham cracker, like marshmallow vibe from this. Like, I don't know. It does feel like a more simple color combo, but very cute. Oh, the eye's different. I need to know more background about this character. I don't know, I just get like toasted marshmallow vibes from this gradient right here. And look at the like splash. I like this. And the little drippies. There's so much to look at. The teeth. Hmm, maybe not my first first choice, but it's still a very cool design. The last one. Oh my goodness, this video has been a whirlwind and you should see my desk, it's a mess. But anyway, let's open it up. Oh, it would be a perfect ending if we got a secret one. Oh, no, I didn't get it that time. I thought I was getting the hang of it. Last one. Oh, it's definitely different. I see blue. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. They're not all glittery. This one's matte. And the only gradient is on like, I want to say it looks like Mount Fuji. But she also has like a kanji on her shirt for Kori, for ice. So this like a snow cone type vibe maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, the arms move? What? That's cool. 
I'm sure they do for the others too. I love this one. It's so cute! That, that's literally all I can say. I love the colors. I love the design. I need to look more into this Umaso character or the artist, see what else they make. Because I love this. Okay, we opened a bunch today. I have to say thank you to Kika Goods for sending me the random ones and oh my goodness, I have found so many new favorites today. I wanna I wanna see what other sets they have for the Ru Rui, that's what I'm gonna call them. And look into Umasol and show me your Emmas. I'll go find mine and take a picture too. But yes, if you're thinking of shopping on Kika Goods or even just sh browsing their site, use my link down below. And I have my coupon code listed as well. It just lets them know that people are interested in their products and that you enjoyed this video. And I really hope you did. Please leave me a comment, tell me which figure or set was your favorite and what sets you would like to see in future unboxing videos. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!